legs, legs, high corner. Albuquerque's yes, Robbie Bova Davis. coaches water polo, mostly with kids. But this Good. fall, she's in March for the Saturday. challenge of her Get life. It's not safe, but um, if we go, if we're given the green light, it's safe enough. Bova is traveling halfway around the world to teach water polo to the women of Afghanistan. Right now, for the women, it's actually the most dangerous place in the world for women to live, um, let alone for women to travel. With violence and ongoing conflicts just 200 miles from where she'll be coaching, she knows she'll be walking into a high-risk situation. So the obvious question is, why do it? It's sort of simple in, in my mind. I mean, I want to be a part of empowering these women through sport and peace through sport. Exposing water polo to this particular culture of women presents all sorts of challenges. One of the things was we had to wait until the women's only facility was built. Uh, women cannot use the men's facility, men can't use the women's facility. And then there's the issue of bathing suits for women who traditionally can't be in public unless fully covered. It's going to be a couple year process to design a swimsuit, whether it goes to the elbow and the knee or whether it has to go all the way down. We'll work with different swimsuit companies that want to take on the challenge and the project with us. You guys, five minutes till warm down, five minutes. If we got to the point where I was actually still a part of their journey to the Olympics, um, what that would say for women's rights and, and um, just the, the plight of women in sports in this particular country would be a, a pretty incredible thing to be a part of.